What's up, you too? This is Robert Troy going to ask you if I got a great another market, man. What an opening of this week, man. We had so many opportunities today. I hope you guys back, man. I've seen green left and right today, and I hope you guys make some good money, man. If you guys follow the levels that we talked about yesterday, even the setups that we you know discussed about yesterday, you guys made some good money, man. So I'm telling you, man, don't be chasing one stock that is always going to be the next one, right? Opportunities on the market every single day, but you need to know how to execute them and where to look them. That's the thing. Right. So then we got an amazing opening. And really quick, I want to recap a couple of things. First of all, today, this morning on our scanners, and again, this is what benefit to be a Nothing community. If you're not with us, this I have a scanner incorporated on my community so people can see real time news. And that's how we can catch a few of these runners, you know, before anybody else. So today we have this PR actually coming in on AKLI, as you can see here, 847. We I saw, and I guess I read the headline. And it was saying the announcing is positive results of the phase three. So the first thing I look, I was like, well, this is actually pretty good. I mean, it's phase three, right? I looked at the chart and it started running, man. And literally, you can clearly see how the beautiful move for Nike Life went from was like 30 cents to 57 cents at that point. That point, it was already 100% return. And of course, if you follow the rules, we have the buying pressure, we got about a trend, right? I had some students, you know, I hope anybody caught this and any later on the day. Ended up running higher and higher. AKLI, you can see here, ended up way, way going to more than 69 cents, 79 cents. And if we even look on the chart, we had seven or seven opportunities to make some money, right? Later, later on the day, even before opening, ran to 76 cents from almost 30 cents. So it was almost 200%, guys. That is really an amazing return in less than, you know, 20 minutes, less than 15 minutes, right? So opportunities are there and also, Later on the day, I was, I was the only setup that I like in the morning just because it was a runner from Friday, right? I keep it on there. It was, you know, uh, CBSA. And let me show you. This is why the guidance that I put on my trades every single morning. I told my students that I was watching CBSA, watch for that 1.49 breakout because I can see my charts. That was my resistance line. So, of course, if you wait it up, right, if you execute it once the break had happened, you can see even even hold it up to 1.83. I told my students I was going to you know, scale profits out once it didn't hold. It didn't hold and it ended up going to almost like $2 plus. As you can see, $1.95, $2.40. This is how I got my students step by step, how things are moving up. So that if you're looking for that type of guidance, you know what to do. Join up. You know, link is in the description. But man, we are banking on this. And this is only a couple of their setups because I've also been dropping some swing trades that are fire and they only they know which one is in. And for our long term swings, for example, today, this morning, I saw this one that I saw in the report uh, earnings and amazing earnings. And I also report uh, some good data, which was CLDX. Like literally, I learned my students at 43 cents. I mean, you know, getting the, you know, the DD, all the charting. This is what I do here. I told them I was getting my start at $43. And you can clearly see here, CLDX ended up running to almost $49, 48, actually 49, close near to the close. It was a five, six dollar from our entry, man. So the money was there. It's only about to take action to what's to come, guys. But that's only what we do here. Just a quick update on what are we having for tomorrow. Remember to tell you guys that, you know, economic events, they do matter. Uh, today, action on large scale was a little slow. And it's normal to, you know, come from the weekend. So you got to wait for the right time, guys. So tomorrow we have, we start with some data, right? We have durable goods orders at different in the morning. And of course, we also have a customer confidence report at 10 in the morning. So said this, I think tomorrow morning will be a little slow, right? But I think that just because um we don't have a lot of like an important data, there might be good opportunities, right? We also remember GDP is going to be on Wednesday. So I think that tomorrow will be a good day to trade since, you know, the market has settled down today. And, you know, you just got to be ready. So again, as every single day, I drop my levels, guys, on not only the community and you know, other places because I want to share the knowledge. But one thing I want to you know, uh, say it one more time is that if you don't have clear confirmation, if you don't have clear trend, and if you can see the price of being super choppy, why force trades? You know, you got to train yourself. You got to become disciplined as far as if you do see this type of price action, do not trade it. Our personal do not trade despite it just because you can clearly see here the price action, very choppy, long weeks, long candles. It did end up breaking below here, pretty much like around 115, but their lift, you know, the risk reward of this trade is very, very low, right? Always, every time, every single time that you take a trade, guys, you need to assess your risk reward. Think about it. How much am I risking? How much am I going to get? So if you do see the separate price action, I personally avoid it. 
you know, look forward for the next day or for a different setup because there were setups, right? But if you are locked in one thing, you're going to be missing these other setups. But anyways, since we do see this scroll up, sorry, scroll down, uh, we do see some, some heavy selling pressure accumulating on SPY, so which is kind of like driven down all the tech sector as well. So we will see what happens tomorrow. We had a 505 uh, tomorrow. If it does break this 505.34, which is a 60 MA on the hourly, I think that we can see a little flush down to the 500. So that is if tomorrow we have another red day. Of course, they can bounce. You know, we have to be ready for both scenarios. If it does bounce, I'm going to wait for that break of the 20 MA to reverse and possibly tap the previous highs. So that's what I'm going to assess. But for now, I'm leaning bearish just because that's what the charts are telling me. But anything can change the pre-market, guys. Remember to assess every single day. Tesla, amazing trade, guys. This is why I'm telling you, don't want to miss the trades because Tesla really gave us huge gains this morning, right? And I'm going to show you. I have my level set up like every morning. I tell my students I was looking for Tesla, you know, how they bounce here. But I was watching for this 193.26 break for calls. Remember, wait for the break to happen. Confirmation instead of dissipation. You trying to dissipate something, you might get faked out. So we never had the break for the downside, but we had the break for the outside, 193.26. Tesla literally went straight up, as you can see here, buying pressure, started closing up with BWAP, the 20 May, only you had to execute, respect the levels, have proper risk management, and you bank. From 193, all the way to 201, we're talking about $8, $7, depending on your entry, but that's, a, that's over 100% return on your, you know, your, your trade and position if you get in once your reactor levels and of course always you know they're my, my students and this is a huge move that only that move itself you know gave a nice move but of course you know always checking out throughout the day and later on the day as well nvidia your favorite didn't have another like a decent day around this is why like i said the semiconductors were choppy some tech sector were choppy but the evs were not that really choppy so you have to look for the different sectors on the market. But again, today, NVIDIA didn't really do much. You know, quick pop, quick drop, no direction, slow trade intraday, then it drop. So nothing much really that we can say that it worked to trade today in NVIDIA. I did not trade it today because for, the, for that exact reason. But what I can tell you is that the setups are looking bearish for tomorrow for the NVIDIA, right? Already breaking the 20 May on the different time frames, selling pressure accumulating. So there's a chance that tomorrow we either going to have a red pre-market or we might have a red opening. So you might want to check that out because there might be opportunities there. But so far right now, it's still holding the 60 MA as you can see here. So I'm going to wait out. If it does break this 789 area, we could possibly see 77, 777, 780, right? Because if you zoom out a little bit, that's what we have the 60 MA on the one hour. So otherwise, if we do bounce, guys, I'm going to have to be waiting for that 20 MA break. Because you zoom, zoom in a little bit, you can see this around 794.37. That's a 20 May. Remember, NVIDIA moves a lot on dollars. So this is why the, you know, the, the spread is a little bigger here. But that's how NVIDIA moves. So you have to adapt to trade these things if you are trading these things. Right, guys? And of course, I mean, let's swing. We've been talking about for a while now. You know, Iowa, this, this swing trade may literally pay us today. And this is only the beginning, in my opinion. As you see here, I have told my students. I've been telling this more, yes, the one at 23, which was last week, I told them it was flagging. And of course, this morning we had a huge run up, as you can see here, updating my, some of my gains with them, you know, I ended up closing almost three grand only this morning on Iowa because it broke 17, right? And it was looking pretty bullish so far. That has not much, hasn't really changed, right? We have earnings on Wednesday, of course, like I said, I'm going to be assessing this. And if I do see anything, you know, I don't like, I might sell before earnings and rebuy after earnings, but we'll see. But so far, nothing has changed, guys. Setup still bullish. But remember, always scale up profits. Stay green. Do your best. Remember, don't let the market take away your gains. You can always rebuy the stock if you like, right? So that's one of them. And of course, a setup that I'm looking for tomorrow, guys, is going to be EAXTI, just because it, has, it was a runner from last week. And of course, you can see here it is already got pop. You know, we have a, a bullish continuation setup right here with a got pop making, a, you know, almost on kind of trying to fill this upper week to a 485. Trend is intact on different time frames. You see, it's pretty nice. Buying pressure is, you know, still, you know, heavy. And of course, we also have a few inside a bind that I noticed later on. I was checking the filings. So this has some room to go, right? We zoom out a little bit. We got to the weekly chart. If this trend remains, I think that we could possibly tap that 5.13 200 main. Remember, it's like a magnet, right? If there is an uptrend, the 200 may acts like a magnet. 
right? Other than that, guys, I think we're going to call it for a night, guys. I hope you have a great day. We have more setups, man. I can literally spend hours talking about setups, but if you don't want to miss the next ones, join the Alpha community. That's, that's all the action is happening every single day, right? Link us in the description, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We have more to talk, more setups, more updates. Man, this journey is just getting crazy. You have the whole year to bank on different setups, so don't stay behind. You know, join to the team. And I think, guys, if you have any questions, you know what to do. It's, you know, see me at DM me, tag me in the chat, drop me a comment in the video. I'm always checking them out. You know, I'm doing my best to reach out to you guys. I think, guys, be safe. I'll see you guys tomorrow in less cars this week because things just started. All right, guys? Bye. Take care, guys. But I'm a shot. Start, guys, this is what I'm a trader coming out here today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals and financial freedom you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.